Welcome or welcome back to the MoCo Show official YouTube channel. I'm Maddie Tringone and I'm your host for Last Week in MoCo, where I cover each story that was posted this week on the website in case you missed them in a short, brief little summary. If you did miss any of these stories and you don't want to miss them in the future, make sure you keep updated on the website and follow all of the MoCo Show social medias. They are always in the description box below. Now without further ado, let's get started. To begin today's video, let's start off with some food that is coming and leaving MoCo. We're going to start off with Grace Street Coffee, which will be coming to Bethesda shortly. Also on February 9th, a Lidl will be coming to Montgomery Village. A Popeyes is coming to downtown Silver Spring, and a Sweet Green is coming to Gaithersburg. Month in Durwood, a Feasty Crab will be opening up. Sadly, as of November 1st, on Mondays, Pike Kitchen will be closed. Along with that, Zed's Cafe is temporarily closed due to some staffing um, limitations. And last but not least, the Quarry House Tavern in Silver Spring is now um, requiring proof of vaccination. Moving on, as you may know, Halloween just passed, and one of my personal favorite Halloween movies is Hocus Pocus. But did you know that the character who plays Binks in the movie is actually a MoCo native? Sean Murray, who plays Zachary Binks, was born in Bethesda Navy Hospital. Aside from his early years, he didn't get to spend much time in MoCo due to him having to live on several military bases, but I do think this fact is super cool. Um, this is literally one of my favorite movies. Also excitingly, Montgomery Parks has reinstated their picnic in the park program, and this also allows alcohol in the 13 parks. The Montgomery County Council also recently appointed Carol Rubin to the Montgomery County Planning Board. The Montgomery County Police Cold Case Unit is officially diving back into a cold case on the unsolved homicide of Montgomery County Special Duty Sheriff Captain James Tappan Hall, which occurred on October 26th in 1971. Now for some more MoCo and COVID-19 updates. It is official that 98% of seniors are vaccinated in Maryland, which is incredible. And the CDC authorization for vaccines for kids who are 5 to 11 will hopefully be out super shortly, possibly as early as this week. Now, despite this mask mandate that recently was lifted in um, indoor areas in Montgomery County, the city of Tacoma Park will continue to mandate masks. And on top of that, on November 3rd, the indoor mask mandate will be reinstated. So by the time this video is up, it's probably reinstated. And if it is not reinstated by the 3rd, it is rumored to be reinstated by November 9th. Moving on from that, the Montgomery County Thanksgiving Parade will be held on November 20th in Silver Spring. And the last story for today is that Maryland was rated the 10th safest state in America by Wallet Hub. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you subscribe down below, give this video a thumbs up, and follow all of the MoCo Show social medias, which will once again be in the description box down below. Hope you have an amazing day, and I will see you next week.